tipping point? Agree or disagree? Let's talk. Hi Queens, welcome and welcome back to my channel. Well, apart from doing luxury bag unboxings and giving practical luxury reviews on my channel, today let's discuss about something different in the luxury world, which is luxury logos, yay or nay. Nothing wrong about supporting or hating it as we all have different preferences. We come from different backgrounds, we are at different points in our lives and we are entitled to voice our opinions but I thought I shall put it out there and discuss both sides of the coin. My name is Loki and I enjoy talking about all things luxury and sharing about my pre-loved finds, leather guides, you name it. If you're into content like this, then I strongly welcome you to subscribe and join my corner and hit that bell to get updates. Let's backdate and dig into some articles that were once trending and we will look into the issue of luxury logo fatigue. Grab your cup of tea and join me. Let me tell you a story. I remember my first luxury bag as a teenager. I purchased to reward myself with my first paycheck. It was the Louis Vuitton Speedy in monogram print. My only consideration then was that I loved the LV logo plastered over the bag and I had to have it. And when I owned it, I felt like I was ready to conquer the world with my Speedy. It spelled both luxury and success to me. This logo obsession then slowly snowballed into anything logos or monograms, be it a belt buckle with the logo, earrings with the logo, the brand printed all over the bag and even items I didn't even need but had the logo on them. I even was that close to buying inspired or fakes just for the logo and just for the sake of having it and flexing it. Then one day, I had this out-of-body realization and almost a wake-up call, why am I doing this? And why am I sucked into the logo mania? Well, that is my story and I wonder if any of you can relate to it. Now let's start the conversation going by looking at this article from 2013, Has Logo Fatigue Reached a Tipping Point? If any of you are keen on this read, I will leave the link down in the description section below. To give you the gist of it, this article is not in support of luxury logos and it predicts a trend towards understated luxury items. This article also did bring up a few other points about luxury trends back then. It talked about the local loving luxury consumers, which contributes a significant portion of revenue for the luxury industry. However, acknowledging that logo fatigue is not new and that global luxury consumers are shifting away from the preference of logos and other visible signs of luxury spending. It then summarizes by saying that you don't need a bold logo to create a signature aesthetic. Agree or disagree? I mean, who knows what life and luxury trends were back in 2013, but they made a very bold statement saying that luxury is being in the know versus being in the show. Applying this concept into today's world of luxury and of what we deem as luxury, I actually find this statement quite true. Luxury to me is a lifestyle of abundance, be it a positive emotional abundance, the luxury of time abundance, the luxury of freedom, the luxury of owning anything that will bring you joy. That is pure luxury. I mean, it is hard to put a price tag on luxury because it is after all an experience. The luxury of being in the know, having first-hand information, having first dips at the newer season's launch is also luxury as much as the luxury of good health or having a close support network. Which is also why we love watching YouTube videos shopping blocks because those take us on this coveted luxury experience. However, more superficially and taking things more at face value is that these brands re-teach us what luxury is. We relearn that luxury is now having a brand logo with a price tag and a value that you can attach it to. Luxury is also something that can be purchased at a high price point and in the luxury world, after all, more is more. Now another article that I found from 2018 is Flashy Logos are making a comeback in China, which from the title is Pro Logos. While it acknowledges that logos are shallow status projection, 
but the popularity and craze for hip hop and streetwear fuels the ones for such logos. Think Supreme and Off-White. It also states that the resurgence of logos has been largely driven by younger consumers who see brand logos as a means of self-expression or self-identity. I do agree with this point because from my story, I see my younger self literally got sucked into this culture. And as a young luxury consumer then, I was one of those who needed the extra validation that I received from carrying my logo field bag and it was the perceived value of that luxury merchandise that I equated my self-identity with, which now, on hindsight, is such an unhealthy behaviour. On a lighter note, the article argues that brand logos are outlets of self-expression and they gave the example of Gucci's 2018 resort show with their Gucci line, the G-U-C-C-Y line, that parodied counterfeiting among the luxury industry. After all, having large brand logos on merchandise are almost walking billboards for these luxury brands. So it is a win-win situation for both consumer and designer houses. The article then summarizes that luxury houses need to keep up with fast-changing trends and cater to the needs of consumers while maintaining an underlying identity that resonates with or without logos. Now, having heard both sides of the argument, I myself am guilty of brand logo mania once, but now I see beyond luxury logos and life has taught me the meaning of true luxury. So, for any of you out there rocking a non-logo bag or accessory, be confident. Wear it well, create lasting memories, do what brings you joy, go forth and lead a luxurious life. I will play through a few large logo merchandise pictures and would love to hear your views. Is luxury logos flash or fatigue? What is your tipping point and where would you draw the line? Thank you for joining me today on Life with Loki and I hope you enjoyed this topic. Do leave me some comments and I hope you subscribe to my channel and hit that bell for more content updates. I will be sharing a few luxury understated bags in my next video, so stay tuned. Have a blessed week everyone and goodbye.